everybody. Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me. Before we get started today, I want to talk to you about Timu. Look at this sweet sweater. Yeah. So Timu reached out and said, you want a partnership? And I said, well, what's the partnership all about? What's Timu? I had no idea. And Timu is awesome. Look at this bag of stuff I got. Uh, they allowed me to choose some things um, and I was like, just went to the website and I was blown away. I'm like, what the heck is this? It's like all this awesome stuff for like a dollar. It's crazy. So basically you just gotta download the Timu app. You go in there and you just buy lots of things. I'm just on the website here for a second, scrolling through and there's lots of things I bought. Like I have this, I bought a lot of tool things cause I'm really into that right now. I'm building things a lot. I mean, I want to order this thing to clean out your iPhone. Uh, they got like pillows. They've got a liposuction machine. Something like this would be cool. Water pipe creation for the kids. Portable shrinkable urinal. Yeah, of course I'm going to get that. So anyway, Timu did send me a whole bunch of really great stuff. Um, look at this really cool thing. So this is a this is like a level. Is there a level here? I don't you can't see that, but you can see it on me maybe. But basically, if you put, set this on a level table, it's got a line go, that goes up and down. You can't really see that, but it's got a line that goes up and down. So you can, you know, mark your studs and things like that. That was like, I think, two bucks or something. And it's it's a high quality piece of equipment. A uh, neck fan. So here's a neck fan. Three speeds. Like that's blowing. Okay, this thing is sick. It was like two bucks. What else I got? Let's dig in, let's dig in. One that goes into three different versions, like lightning, USB-C, and micro USB. This is cool. So we pop this, and it's a screwdriver kit, like a computer size one. It's it's got all the torx bits, it's got all the Allen key bits, and it's just like portable, perfect to keep in the vehicle. Or if you're a computer, you know, technician, or if you need something, you know, take the batteries out of your kids' remote control cars, that's perfect for hanging out in the drawer upstairs. You set it up so that you can make angle cuts and you can mark your angles on your on your wood and your blocks. You've seen these before, they pop in and you can go around any nut or whatever. You put it in your you put that in your impact drill or in any drill, and again it's got it's just a big universal thing that you can like you can't really see what I'm doing there, but I'm pushing it in and then go around nuts and bolts and things like that and drill them out. Really, really cool. I've been looking for one of those for a while, actually. A movable angle doesn't give you a crazy angle, but it, it allows you to drill or screw in from a little bit of an angle. Like you're doing doorknobs or stuff like that, hard to reach areas. Love these things. I got fidgets because the kids love fidgets. This one is really cool. Look at that cool fidget. So you just like, Everly loves this one. She loves her fidgets. And I got this one for Westy. It's a Thor hammer fidget. Like, that's crazy. Who doesn't want something like that? I teamed up with Timu, got sent a whole ton of really great products that I got to choose, and now I'm addicted. Now I'm on the app looking for little things I want because it's not like you're spending hundreds of dollars. I got literally a big box of stuff, and it was, I think, under $100. And it's legitimate stuff that I will really use. So a perfect place for stocking stuffers, for birthdays, for Christmas presents, anything that you can imagine, I promise you is on this website, okay? So head over to Timu, I've got a code here for you. So here's the deal, for the month of September is an anniversary sale and there are literally thousands of items on the site that are $1. Things like this, things like this, things like things you're like, I need that, but you get on Amazon for 30, it's like a dollar on here. And you can access that list through my link of code that you can see below and in my pinned comment. Like, I think you're gonna see a lot of creators do Timu hauls instead of Amazon hauls. I'm gonna do them because they're really, really fun. I'm gonna do a mass one for Christmas because my kid, these are, again, I can't express how awesome this is for like stocking stuff. These are like little items that come and they came in like a week and a half. So it didn't even take that long to get to me. And it's not just toys, it's not just household items, it's everything you can imagine. So because Timu teamed up with me, I get to give you guys a 50% off discount code. Use this code below, DKC3242, to get your 50% off discount code. Like, go haul right now. Everybody wants to do a haul in this, in this time of like economic cruelty we're all in, you can afford this haul. And my link is below, don't forget that. Cooking stuff, get on Timu. I'm telling you, this is the place to get Crocs, get them on Timu. They have Croc headlights. I'm getting those, okay? Make sure you head over, use my discount code, guys. Don't forget to use it. And again, thank you, Timu, for teaming up with me. I cannot wait to do another haul with you guys. I'm very excited. So head over there now, guys. Let's get to the video. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Well, it's time to snark on Alicia because it's been a little while. We've been caught up with the A-Passenger drama, which we're not going to let go. We're obviously going to continue to talk about it, but we got to take a break sometimes, have a little fun, snark on Doherty Doesn't. Because this is the type of person that ends up being like Ruby Frank. Do you know what I'm saying? 
Now, I'm not saying she's going to go to the depths that Ruby Frank went to, but this is the thing that they all do. They exploit their children for cash. Now, Alicia does these crazy snack haul shopping things because it's the only thing that gets her any views anymore. And at the detriment of her children, this bunghole. So let's go. If you have a Dr. Dozen on their website, uh, again, they're growing. Since we've talked about them this year, they've grown by 400,000 subscribers. So I don't understand how she's growing by that many subscribers, but her view counts are in the toilet. It doesn't make any sense to me. But if you have a million subscribers, it's just like I think Mr. Beast went over a billion uh, subscribers the other day. And as he's watching the count, it's literally going up by millions, millions of subscribers. That is crazy. So when you have a million subscribers, it's easily that, you know, you're just by default, by by algorithm chance, you're going to be growing. Right. So that's kind of how she got there. But every time she does a shopping haul, it's 60,000 views. If she's looking, hey, look, I'm making authentic Peruvian food. Stop putting the word authentic in there when you can't even make authentic spaghetti. OK, chill with the authentic word. But when she does other things, she doesn't get a lot of views. Right. She tried to clean. She didn't get a lot of views. 40,000 views on laundry day. Like, come on, Build-A-Bear, 21, like she keeps going to Build-A-Bear. They've been to Build-A-Bear like 10 times and they just throw them in the garbage, okay? The morning routines are starting to die out. Nobody wants to watch them anymore because it's the same morning routine over and over again. Here's some muffins. Here's your same damn lunch. You could put the morning routine over another morning routine over another morning routine. It's exact same thing over and over again. So no one cares. She's dying out. There's another one, 29,000 views. Monday mini vlog with Jason, 25,000 views. Of course they went to McDonald's. And then when she goes shopping, though, boom, 70,000 views yesterday, back to school Costco snack haul with 10 kids. And she's getting ratio, 2.5 thousand down votes, okay? Every single video she makes, the, like if she goes back to school snack boxes, which we, which we did the other day, we covered that, that's 8.7 thousand down votes to 3.8 thousand up votes. She is getting obliterated in the algorithm on YouTube, everybody, and good. And so what she did here was she said, oh, look, I got 70,000 views. That's a lot. That's more than she's had in a little while, especially over a 24-hour period. So she doubles down on it. And 21 hours ago, puts, putting away our $1,272 Costco haul. Like, she's got to put the price in there, right? So that's what she does. And so what do we do here? We snark on her. We snark. Because it's fun. And we love doing it, right? So let's go. It's going to be fun. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia with the Dr. D Dozen. And I have that coffee cup. Get a new one. Like, they throw out everything and lose everything. Lose that cup. Lose that into the fires of Mordor. Hey, I don't even think the fires of Mordor would burn that shit, okay? They'd be like, oh my god, it's just gonna sit there and float there. Because it's so encrusted with old coffee in your lipstick. Come along with us, but not, first, Costco. No, Dad Doherty said no candy. Dad Doherty said no candy. Like, you're not gonna get any candy. No candy. Snacks and drinks. So, no candy but they're gonna go get basically candy. So I'm sorry, I understand that candy is pure unadulterated sugar, I get that, right? But let's let's watch to see if she gets anything that resembles candy or is as bad as candy, shall we? Okay. Let's go. So Alicia, for the last little while, has not actually really shown her kids as much, but it's starting to creep back to that point because she has no other options. Her channel is basically not what it once was. I'm not saying she's not making money. She's making lots of money, but not what she once was. And she's seeing that number dwindle and dwindle and dwindle. If you're not making more and more and more and more every single month, you're dying, right? And then it's going to go the steep slope. And eventually you're going to make like a thousand dollars a month and you're not going to be able to sustain this lifestyle anymore. So she's bringing her kids back in the picture because that's all she has. And Sean and Alex are going to each take a flatbed. Yes, yep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shut up. You're laughing at it. Wasn't that funny? Do you want to start with drinks? Gatorades, waters? Okay. You just, over a month ago, they bought like 18 giant cases of water, 18 Gatorades, 20, and they're out. They're out. Like, I know they have 12 kids. Everybody's like, well, everybody always says they have 12. They have 12. Right? But those kids... But there's no apps. There's just no way you're going through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bottles of this shit. And if so, damn, no wonder you don't have a septic that works. Have a Christmas holiday stop. Mm-hmm. I'm in. Uh, oh, 
do you see the ch- Don't sing. You ruined Christmas when you sing, Alicia, okay? Babies cry. Santa's like, you're on the naughty list. People are just like, you know, world wars start. Aliens run away. We want the aliens to say, I don't want them to come down here. Are you singing? Okay, people just don't like it. All right, people complain. They're calling helplines. Stop. Imagine looking at Christmas decorations. Like, oh, the nostalgia. And all of a sudden, someone's like, yeah, I mean, saying like this. And like, oh my God. I hate Christmas now. You're turning people away from Christmas. How dare you? Hi. Hi. Sent Patrick back to get a third flatbed because we're gonna easily fill up the first one. Yeah, you are. You're gonna fill ten of these up. Drinks. So we were left No, I got that on. Oh my God, your DJ set on Amazon. This is where we got your arcade game at Christmas time. That you probably never play ever. Oh yeah, we gotta get muffin bites. No, you better not get muffin bites. You bought twelve hundred muffin bites the other time you were here for a couple, three weeks ago, and you need more already. But no candy, no candy allowed. Now they have rotisserie. Super lovely voice, the ASMR just hits your ears, and you're like, mmm. ASMR. But her ASMR stands for. Chickens. Twins and I came last night trying to get <laughs> She's extra nasal today. She's super nasal. Where's my beard brush? Did someone take it? Oh, here it is. Nice. Does she get a cheese going on? Look at that. Look at that. Look at your hair like. Looks, you have any hair? Makes it look better. I don't have much. So I do what I do. Yeah. Mm, okay. Hi. So, uh, Riz. Those things go fast. Shut up. Look at that mountain of water. All right, we're going to start. Holy favorite shit. Waters, our favorite water. We'll just take a pallet. Can you throw one of these pallets? Again, she drinks, they drink so much bottled water. Why don't you just get water coolers at your home and have the Culligan guy come to your house? Because you know why? Because she wants to shop for it because this gets her views. So she could have her kids just drink out of a, you know, have a standard water bottle and get, you could have three water coolers at your house at the same time going. It would still save the environment more than you do now. And you say, look, we do 10 bottles a week. Colgan guy comes by. You leave them on your driveway. He drops 10 off. Boom. You don't have to do any lifting. It's crazy. It's Poland Spring. Bodhi has got us all hooked on Poland Spring. Especially. Does he have you all hooked on it? Uh, hooked on water? It's water. The sports caps. Gotta get the sports caps. They're more expensive. More plastic for the environment. Okay, sports caps that you guys drink the most. What? The sports caps you guys drink the most. Yeah. I don't understand. What kind of logic is this? You drink the most because they have sports caps? They taste different? Or is it because it has a shitty cap on it? So, okay. Why right? don't you save the caps and refill the bottles? Over there, we'll stack it up. Here's one over here. This is so weird. That guy's like, this family's filming them taking water with short shorts. Harley Quinn, you get Thank you. Those Crocs are three times too big for him. This is why we're doing a stocked up before these boys go back to school, because it is a workout for me. Oh my God, it's yeah. You do it every time, and you don't like taking the kids. So, what's changed? What have I been buying? I've been buying like eight and you guys go through them in three weeks. So then drink other water! <sighs> so maybe 12? 12 <laughs> cases of water. One per kid. Holy shit. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Why would you bring your why are they even there? They don't even want to be there. Holy shit! Minis. We need the minis. I'm sorry. Why do you need minis? Are those the minis? No. Just drink a big bottle of water. You know what I'm talking about? I can help. Um and then Zoe likes the Kool-Aid ones. And then we're actually good on Sunny D. Holy Flavors, shit. I Guys, know. I don't care what anybody says. They're always like, well, there's 14 in the house. Alicia doesn't drink any of this shit. She only drinks coffee and White Claw. So, and Josh doesn't drink this shit. So I don't care if there's 12 people. That's ridiculous. Okay, two Capri Suns, that's all you need right there. You're done. 
for 12 people. Okay, got it. But it's not for 12 people. It's for little kids. So stop saying these things like, oh, they're feeding 12. They're not. Not all of them drink Capri Sun. Half of them don't even drink water probably. So this is overkill ridiculousness because it's the only thing that gets reviews. I'm going to go grab forks and spoons. I'm going to go destroy the environment again. Cool. All right, cool. Greta Thunberg's hiding in like the back. How dare you? We randomly need forks and spoons too. Randomly, do you need that? Is it random? However, we are getting hooked up to the sewer system this month. Oh, stop that! Oh, I'll update you guys on that soon. Yeah, you gonna update us? I guarantee she's not gonna be using dishes and forks and that. She's gonna still get plastic and paper. She shouldn't have said anything because she can't go back. Do you know how many dishes they'll go through? <laughs> I want to see it, though. I want to see it. They're going to need literally one of those, like, tabletop commercial dishwashers that do your dishes in, like, two minutes. You know those things? They sprays, like, literal fire on your plates and comes out the other side, like, super hot. That's what they're going to need. That's it. That's a whole thing. Is it a whole thing? It's a whole thing. Now we don't have to put piss water in our neighbor's yard. That's a whole nother story. We don't have time for that on Costco all day. Shut up. Okay. You're out of breath from walking down an aisle. Nice. Healthy. Forks. Holy shit, man. Look at the size of that. Thumbs. Thumbs. Don't forget your thumbs. I'm also going to grab eggs while we're here because Costco has like the best deal on eggs. You're an egg. Holy shit. Look at the sugar juice. Holy. No candy though, everybody. Stay away from that candy. So we can do it and then fried him. <laughs> no candy, kids. Get away from that candy. Okay, so we got what? That's literally liquid candy, so F off. Four things of Capri Sun and four things of Kool-Aid. Okay. Okay, so they have five dozen eggs for $10.99. A $10.99. We do have... That is a good deal, though. Chickens, but they don't lay. We have eight chickens, but they don't lay enough for our family. Like eight eggs isn't enough for every single day. Like I don't understand. You eat you eat more than eight eggs a day. This is like you eat eggs every single day of the week. So if they lay eight eggs a day, eight times seven, fifty six eggs a week, and that's not enough for your family. Okay. There you go. Ew, your thumb. Okay, I want to get that Waterloo sparkling water. It's my favorite and Nana's favorite. Every time she goes to Costco, it's her favorite. Another thing's her favorite. It's all different. The favorite things are all different. Okay, I'll put it on the eggs. I will not put it on the eggs. Don't be so dumb, Alicia. Anyways, like in the middle, what should we get? Ask Alex. They're going to get 16 cases of Gatorade. This is crazy. I am flabbergasted. That they get this much liquid for like a week. And the thing is, they don't need to. Like, let's say they do drink this over a month. So, like, she goes to Costco every week. So, it's not like she needs to go. Like, she literally shops twice a week sometimes. So, why get a month's worth in one? Because she needs that, she needs that receipt to look big for her videos. I don't want the zero ones. No, 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 we don't want the ones with zero sugar. We want the ones with pure sugar. Stay away from the ones with zero sugar. Zeros. No, like the zero sugar. No, because that's got the stuff in it that... That what? Okay. That what? That's got the stuff in it that what? Is she about to say something about being unhealthy? Is that what she's supposed to say? It's got like, it's got, it's got sweeteners in it. That's bad for you guys. Sweeteners are bad. You literally just put 200 liters of sugar water on your cart. But yeah, the I'd be really weary of the of the Gatorade Zero sweetener. Yeah, I definitely twelve hundred muffin bites. But yeah, watch out for that sweetener. <laughs> you effing idiot! <laughs> Stupid moron. She's so dumb. Gatorade. Oh my god. Not the zeros, but there's this. Do you guys like the frost? Uh, yes. My team loves the frost. Oh okay. So why is she buying it for his team? Like, you trying to buy people's love? That's silly. So, Just be a better person. Oh, this, this, and the minis, but not the frost. Not the zero. My team loves the... Why are you buying it for the team? I hope you get a receipt for that. Can we get two littles and two bigs for the, the welfare? Yeah. Why? 
I guess, I mean, maybe the parents have a responsibility. Somebody has to bring the orange juice. Someone has to bring the orange slices. Someone has to bring the juice. Okay, maybe. I'm down for that. There is a lot of books there. Everybody pick out a bag. Okay, let's go. Guys, let Alex organize it. He knows how to touch What does it matter? What does it matter? Why do you throw it like that? The kids are trying to help. Why'd you bring them if you're not going to let them help? Like I do. Okay, so, whatever. They rub off on Alex, for sure. Alex treats his brothers and sisters like the way Josh treats them. The big frost. And it's not really Alex's fault. That's all he's been shown. Then get more of those, because Alex has taken some of these for the football team. Well, Alex can pay him out of his money, then. And that, Actually, it's not true. Alex is owed this money, so he can do whatever he wants. And yeah, we should be good on me. Those Crocs are way too big, man. They're like this thing that look like he's got huge paddles off the end of them. Because we have one more mini at home. Yeah, but I would get more of the bigs. Why are you just standing there? Let's do something, lazy ass. Yeah, like, so I know what's Let's see where Dad is on Life 360. Oh, she's tracking Dad through Life 360. You track your spouse? I wonder why you have to track your spouse. Do you guys track your spouses or something? Is that something? Maybe your kids. It's okay. I guess you need to know where they are. It's safety, I guess. Safety? Just in case they die? When we get snacks. You <laughs> <laughs> must be lagged a little bit. Alright, where is dad? He is... He's here. He's calling me. Hello. Bye. Oh shoot. Yes. Um. Where's Patrick? Patrick. Doesn't even know where her children are. That's so great. Such a good bomb. Such a good bam. Can you go to the entrance because they won't let Dad in without the card? Get wrecked. My wife's right over there, dude. Let me go into Costco. Get. I'd be like pissed. Like I'm. Relax, Costco security guard guy. Relax. Yep. Thank you. All right, we're gonna grab some of these snacks, and then there's another snack. No candy, though, everybody. Watch out for that candy. Section up. I'm surprised they only got that much Gatorade. Uh, so. Yeah. Not like in the middle, but you. Know what I mean. You do not need more little bites. You damn liar. Damn liar. All right. Were you gonna grab muffin bites? Holy oh, shit, man! Please. Are you guys? Can you imagine people walking by? Like, are you guys? Is there like, is there an impending doom that we don't know about? Just one. All right, that's good. And then Bodhi likes the confetti ones. Confetti Holy one. shit! We already got confetti ones. So Bodhi gets a whole box for himself. Two boxes. Three. <laughs> That's for the little kid. The, the, the two giant boxes for the little kid. Oh, sorry, three? Okay, <laughs> it's not funny. Sorry, it's not funny. She's like, ah, Bodhi wants ten boxes. Yeah, we got one. This is silly. What are you teaching your children? What are you teaching your kids? These kids don't even like, there's nothing like, no, you're not getting ten boxes. Are you out of your damn mind? You're not getting 10 boxes. You can pick one treat. How many you want? She lasts 10 while they put 10 boxes on for one little kid. You think that's funny? Guys, this is what she's teaching her children. But do you want another one? Oh, no, not, not more. Okay, that's enough. I like muffin bites. They're our favorite. What? Yeah, They're not even that good, man. Yeah. You yeah. didn't get James. I didn't know I was supposed to. Oh, he didn't text you. <laughs> they just left their kid at home. I said you didn't want to come. I said if you want to come, text Dan. That's only six. You want to get four more? Oh my gosh. What? Can I show you something really cool? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, a, plane is, a plane is doing that outside. Yeah, I know. It's making happy faces. Mm -hmm. like cool. A happy face chemtrail. I'm kidding. I don't believe in chemtrail. I'm just joking. Not what you want. The kid's six. He doesn't need ten bucks of little bites, man. 
Yeah. We need that what you want. Get wrecked! She had to show that she's buying her kids books because I'm a good ma'am. I <laughs> know you're not. Alicia, you're not a good mom. You're a terrible person. You're a terrible mom. We're trying to get over here. We're on track. We're at the snacks where they were all supposed to meet. No candy, though. Yes, but now they got... What do you mean the snacks? You just have a... You have enough snacks! Sidetracked by ice cream. Yay. Yeah. Hey, I see what you did there. Pirates assholes, cool. No candy. No candy, everybody. <laughs> no candy. No candy. <laughs> it's, so, it's so silly. It's just so dumb. And they put it all in camera. Oh. No candy. No candy. Got a big bucket of M&M's. <laughs> Funny. Two buckets of <laughs> Look at Alex. <laughs> um, yeah, <'cause> no candy, kids. <laughs> on the next aisle. Woo! Oh, it hurts the cheeks. Grab that extra. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> you pops a kid cat. <laughs> no candy. <laughs> oh, my ribs. Check out. Oh. He's like, do we ready to check out? And she laughs. No, we haven't got enough candy yet. No candy though. Okay. We need nine gushers. You better not. That's pure candy. Snack. Josh said no candy. You guys always say you want gushers, and then you try them, and then you're like, oh, no, mom, I, mom, I didn't eat all. So if one kid like you, don't, you always say that you're like, okay, well this kid likes this, so I'm gonna make ten boxes of it. So he's saying he wants gushers. Get him the gushers. No candy though. <laughs> I just don't want a ton of them because you guys say you want them and then they sit there. That is not me. Christian. Oh my God! You get two boxes. <laughs> we don't like. Oh them. my like, God! Which ones do you like? <laughs> she, oh, no, like oh my gosh, those like, are so good. The toast cheese, the peanut butter cheese ones. Damn, they're good. The cheese. Oh, I love we don't the get those here. We don't, we don't get those here. So whenever I go to the States, I get them. Someone sent me like 10 packs the other day, and I, need, I, I didn't know where they went. And I finally was cleaning up the cupboard. They're, they're all in there. Oh, yeah. Holy, look at this kid. <laughs> no. You can get those. These people looking at you, judging you. Deshaun, where are the granola bars you like? Kurt weighs like no joke, 500 pounds. Where are you putting all this shit? Not yet. <laughs> no candy, everybody. <laughs> no candy. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Oh, see if there's any more snacks. Okay, I think we're good. We're good. <laughs> okay. I don't know what Josh is doing. But this guy's hit the head with a canoe oar. Nice! Love it! Yeah. Grab this tiny box, tiny bag of pistachios. <laughs> no candy, kids. <laughs> no candy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I just, I needed this laugh. I needed it. I needed the whole thing. Deshaun's grabbing out. I have Josh because everybody's like, I said no candy. <laughs> this whole thing is candy. You're good. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What Josh grabbed, okay. Those Kirkland pizzas, delish. Double pepperoni, double pepperoni, Motor City pizza. I've never had the Motor City pizza. French bread, looks like lasagna or something like that. Dumplings. It's just like a quick glance at what he got because no one cares that he got like normal food. <laughs> Shit. The two giant buckets of M&M's was like, holy shit. Wow! 
Oh my gosh, and gum. I mean, gum's fine. Ask Fishon, I'm gonna go over and get lunch more. Yeah, of course you are. I mean, that's the most affordable lunch you can get. Whoa. Chicken bake? We don't have that. The roast beef sandwich, we don't have that. All we have at my Costco is pizza, chicken and fries, and poutine. That's it. And ice cream. And a hot dog. They used to have these like really, really nice sandwiches with like pesto on them and stuff. They don't make them anymore, man. That's so sad. But one thing's still true. Ours is a buck fifty Canadian for a hot dog and a drink too, so it's a pretty good deal. They are always busy. It does not matter what day or All right. Why does she film these? She shouldn't be able to film employees. <laughs> Holy shit. When the thing moves, like... <laughs> the belt on her, he's like... <laughs> this dog already does it here. Okay, we got it. holding a penis My Costco would be like, mm, it's good. <laughs> See ya. It would never do that. Okay, just wait for that one. Okay, well, just. Why are you putting it in the van? Where are your kids gonna sit? What if you get an accident and there's like literally hundreds of pounds of boxes and shit? Like, what happened? Like, that's dangerous. Sorry, dangerous. Oh, Holy shit. $1,272. <laughs> <No. laughs> Thumb. <No. laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. So he is accidentally in Patrick's sweatshirt. Yeah, doing food. These people need a trailer. Oh. What is bro doing? You guys are like blocking the whole entrance with two full vehicles full of shit. But no candy. I thought he got a different truck. This is like a normal truck. Oh, we got pretty close. Holy shit. I don't care, folks. That's too much shit. I had count because we are in three different cars. I have five. Oh, guys, Alex drove. That's right. Three. That's eight. Alex has to show There's two more, so that's ten kids. They they mentioned James, but no one ever mentions Nevea. It's like quite odd, actually. Some shit's going down in the Dockery Dozen household. You guys have no idea about, and hopefully we never do. But it's going to come to the light of day someday. Like the thing that's going on with Ruby, this shit's gonna happen here. Shit is gonna happen. You're gonna hear some shit that you are gonna be flabbergasted over. All right, we are home and we're gonna eat lunch. Okay, so they got, what, six pizzas? <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, that's a new Ranch King merch. Yeah. We're gonna try it. Uh, ranch King. Okay. Ranch. You're putting Ranch King on Caesar salad? Okay. Here. We are going to end this vlog and I will show you in another vlog how we put everything away. We know. You just throw it in the garage. That's... Okay, thanks though. Thank you for coming to Costco with us. I gotta read some of these comments on this one. Like, what happened? <laughs> no candy. <laughs> Which fruit snack do you like? How about real fruit? The amount of sugar you let your children eat is disgusting. Like, this is weird, dude. When people leave comments like this, like, pasta and paper towels. I was fussing at my phone, like you could hear me, saying, grab the pasta, paper towels, and toilet. Where are you? Are you yelling at the phone? At Dr. D doesn't through the phone? That's cool. You're not weird. You're weird. <clears throat> this person must be new here. Why so much water bottle and juice? You new here? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got so excited for the sewer hookup. I did a little jig when you mentioned, you jig, did a little jig? Okay, that's... If dad said no candy, why'd you get two boxes of M&M's? You also missed a box of Kit Kats and everything that was basically candy. <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, that was awesome. That was a good one. I needed a good laugh. But we're going to continue on with the passenger stuff this week, too. We're going to continue on with Do Dr. Does and everybody else. They're all the same. It's just crazy. But thanks for being here, everybody. Take a huge breath with me. Gonna need that after all that laughing. <laughs> it's been awesome. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being here, guys. I'm almost at 200,000 subscribers. Yes, I'm gonna go on that bikini adventure. You guys can see my butt going down a slide. It's gonna be great. My wife's like, you're an idiot. I agree. I'm an idiot. But thanks for being here. Thanks for being a part of this and supporting this channel. You're amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you damn well forget it ever. 
All right. You're some kind of something. I'll see you tomorrow.